guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, it's been a long time. I'm so sorry. It's been several weeks. Um, I have just been so crazy with um, releasing all my courses on my website. We've got an extensions course helping you improve your lines and your height of leg, your turnout. We've got a turnout course and we've got a pirouette course and it's just been crazy as well as so many classes on there. So click the link in the description if you're keen on improving your ballet. And I've also been super busy coaching a lot of dancers. So again, head to my website for all of that. But I'm happy to be back for another Vaganova walkthrough. And today we're going to be looking at the point section of my graduation exam. We're gonna be looking at the exam rehearsal which is in not the main studio, but another studio. I like this because you know you can just get a, a little bit of more of an insight. And um, yes, let's look into it. And I'll be much more on top of things, a lot to come. And um, yeah, let's go. We're just like sitting down, putting our shoes on. And there's my wonderful teacher adjusting herself. <laughs> And there's me sitting down, looking, looking for something. And um, yeah, putting on my shoes. They look quite tight and I'd always test them like, yeah, I'd have to put, you know, really shove my shoe in. They would be quite tight. My shoes were, um, she's shouting, ready? <laughs> My shoes were specially made by um, Bob Martin and he'd given his business to Block at this point, so... Um, now she just said in two different languages, come on, come on, come on, come on, quickly, she said, come on, come on, come on in Russian and quickly in Japanese. She's a quirky character, I love her. Um, but yes, um, my shoes were made by Block. And uh, they come from Australia, so I'd have to order maybe 10, 20 pairs and get them shipped from Australia, which would take two months. So yeah, it was quite a lot of stress. All right, so I'm gonna skip forwards now to when we're standing up. I've never been skilled at walking in point shoes, like not dancing in them, like, yeah, and I'd always test, I'd always have trouble with how comfortable they felt and on the heels, you know, sometimes I'd get heel blisters. It's quite stressful finding your perfect shoe. All right, so here we go, this is the exam section. Well, she says. Well? <laughs> I think she wants her to be confident. Now they put me at the back for this because yeah, I'd been injured for ages and also the heights and stuff. Like I really did super well, like looking back, like look how difficult all this ballet is. And I'd literally had seven months off. Like it's, it's kind of mental, but I worked really hard. And as I was rehabbing, I was doing, I was trying, I was quite smart with it and mimicking um, basically my working day, maybe doing you know, two hours a day. That's Ksenia um, Shevsova in the front. Also, I meant eight hours a day, not two. Um, she's a soloist or principal, I think maybe soloist at Stanislavski Ballet. All right, next exercise. Get ready. Go on, pianist. Cow, which is, which is nose, I think, in Japanese. <laughs> Oh, these exercises, I remember them vividly. And fifth, fifth, important. She's 
she's saying, stand back, you're disturbing them, for goodness sake. <laughs> now those runs are difficult for coordination and strength. I remember not super loving this exercise. Fifth, fifth. Balancing is important. Ya ta ta. Hup. Balance and use your body. Ya ta ta. Good. I'm saying good to everyone else. Uh. Heels forward, double. What I had done is, um, you know, really strengthened my core while I was injured, so turns and that were really solid. I've actually shared a few turns from this exam. Oh, I do love this one. The music's so great. She's saying nose. It's so important to use your head, everyone. I also like sharing this version of the exam because it's not perfect. I really listened to my teacher, like, I think I would have lis like, listen intently to everything she said. Like, she just said nose before, if you spool back, she said nose, and then the second time, I really went for it with the nose. <laughs> she might not have even been saying it to me, but I applied it. you just got to be so, so alert in your lessons, so alert listening to the teacher, like, what she's saying, like, that's how you earn respect, and that's how you improve a lot. Look how much, you know, we present our heels forwards. Heels forwards. Nothing can be turned in. <laughs> These are difficult double runs in Ekate. Lovely Kyun Chan in the back there. Lovely Korean dancer. Tiny, but so full of life. You know, she fills the room. And there's me in the back there. This was a really difficult step. Double rond into Fuete. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh God, I'm out of breath just watching it. Katya does a really nice pirouette in attitude. This was um, the exercise I was given a solo because uh, no matter what my teacher did understand that I um, was good at adagio and I sort of represented like, you know, the swan of the class, like being, you know, the one who could do um, Odette and things like that because I was super tall. I would always get like super nervous anticipation, look at me, I cannot, I cannot keep still. 
I mean, I'll always fidget, like a million fidgets. She said, well done. Nos, nose at the end. <laughs> This is a super special time. It's really, really nice looking back. Look, I had a much easier time. I didn't have to do any of this. <laughs> Guys, that's the perks of being a soloist. Yeah, you can chill out occasionally. But there's a bit more pressure, I think. All right, next up. I think we're doing stuff from the corner. I might be wrong here though. No, we've got another exercise. Oh, what's this? Oh, this might be adage. Yeah. She's like, she's like, is it possible for you to do it together? All right, they all did super well. Those are really difficult, doing arabesque, attitude arabesque. Like I do those with some of my more advanced students now and they're difficult. You've got to make sure you land on a super turned out leg, that your back is straight. We don't really spot on those. These are also difficult, but at this point in our lives, we've done them about a million times. Oh, we had to do a double Alice Akon turn. Here we go. All right, nailed it. But I always found these difficult. Oh, I managed though, I did well. Technically strong. Technically strong. I didn't let an injury like a stress fracture stop me, did I? Um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just looking back at my younger self being quite proud of myself. Like, it, like honestly, God. Hopping. She keeps saying nose in the air in Japanese. We all worked so hard. We had a full day after this. <laughs> like, I don't know, part of doing rehearsals. Oh, we'll see. Hopping's not my thing, but I managed. Also, for a tall person, often it's quite, you know, criticised that tall people can't um, hop, amongst other things. But, you know, I'm all about knocking down those stereotypes. Good, I love those changements on point. Those are amazing, you should try those. Only if you're on point, obviously, those are difficult. Very good for coordination. Okay, next. We must be doing stuff from the corner. I can't imagine what we're doing now. I can't remember. Oh no, more adage. Ah, okay, yes, these fuetes. I look like by Adair. The music was super nice.
says, clean, don't rush, don't rush. She's saying, now hold and stay. Keep your bottom in, is what she said. Such beautiful music. Soft. She's saying it's like you're pulling something. Don't rush. Behind you, your leg. Rush. <laughs> she called someone useless. She said, what arm did I ask for yesterday? What arm did I ask for? Oh, look, I'm having a moment now. I'm not sure what. Oh, and Amy's just asked if I'm okay. I think. I'm fine. It was a struggle though. I wasn't supposed to have this much work so soon after my injury. But, oh, it's my solo. Aplomb. Soft arms. Ah, the classic combination of my teacher. Yes, ladies, amazing. She say, yes, Ksusha, clever girl. She improved a lot, that girl. She's on the right-hand side. Our right. Like none of these girls were like, apart from Amy in the back, like these two girls were not necessarily like natural turners. But our teacher just really made us fantastic at turns. Mainly because you know, not necessarily because she coached it loads, but just like we did it every single day. So eventually we all figured it out. <laughs> now she's asking what time it is. Um, how long have we been going? She's like, oh, um, an hour and two minutes. Now it's our diagonals. I think this is the one where I have a good triple pirouette in there. Oh, me and, Amy, me and Ken Shan have a moment now. Ah. <laughs> Oh, good times. Roja. My favourite music. The pianist would sort of use music, like particular tracks of music over and over again that we know when we're doing difficult things. So look, the combination gets more complicated as the groups progress because the best go at the end. So now it's turned into a bit more complicated and they're doing single lame ducks, but they add a double in there. Is it? I don't think it's me just yet, no. And I think they might do doubles. Yeah. Yeah, so now they do single and a double. Ta, double, yeah. So it's a bit different, more difficult. And then I try to add a triple in on the second one. 
I manage it in this video. I'm super happy with that. I was, yeah, strong in my core. And you can see, look, the girl on the, on the hour left, like, she turns well, but it looks a little bit unstable just because the core, core not completely engaged. So it's like, you're not sure if it's going to work, you know, you want to feel so tight. Oh, and her husband just said, Isabella, well done. I mean, because he, he knew as well, he was very kind. He knew how much effort like I had put in to be here at this point. Got Monage, I love Monage. Monage is just fun. And you've got to really, you know, really step out, step out. And again, the simpler, Monages finish at the top of the room and then the more complicated ones finish all the way a big circle. Now that girl at the who's leading, like she did like she's not like um, the most technically strong, but it's like okay, it's someone and there's classic cases of um, she's been gifted with like a good potential, good body, but doesn't, didn't really put it to use, like she didn't, she didn't try hugely hard. Oh, now the penis speeds up. <laughs> and I love to jump out, jump, jump out, you know, take up the room. She's saying, Chotto in Japanese and Prigat in Russian meaning jump. So like jump a little bit. So funny. And Nastia, the second one, she has a really nice jump, nice spring. And she's also like a little bit, you know, curvier than, than other dancers. Like she's got a really nice like womanly physique and you know, super slim obviously, but you know, she's still like a bit more womanly and I think that's a really nice, like it's a really nice physique. Oh, she, <laughs> bulky, yeah, just chilling out. Fuetes. So these are the girls, well, the Japanese girl in the middle can, can definitely do 32, but she was put in this group, she was kind of new. The other girls really, um, yeah, not technically super strong. So, um, yeah, they could only do so much. But not everyone's, not everyone's a turner, but I think, you know, most of these girls went home. At the end of the day, they were day pupils. And I think, you know, I don't know, had they put in a bit of extra time, like I practiced every single night, because, you know, you can see I'm still slightly dropping my knee. I really struggled with not dropping my knee for a while. Like my hamstrings weren't as strong as they could have been. That came a bit later actually. Can't remember if I did a good finish. Oh yeah, I did, I did a good finish. <laughs> oh, she's, <laughs> Kasusha's failed. So this is Kasusha, she's now a soloist at um, Stanislavski Ballet. She's a beautiful dancer, but you can see she can open her knee a little bit more. <laughs> she's not happy. I think we've got the final exercise now. 
Yay! I love this. <laughs> it's really cute. It's a shame I wasn't put at the front, but you know, I've been injured, so that was my punishment. And also it was the height thing, but still, I mean, it was annoying. I was really upset about that. Like I definitely deserve to be at the front. <laughs> but there you go, that's his life. I'd missed half the year, so. But I'd made it back for this, so, you know. I think that was my, that was, and I was also still on the center of the center bar. But I think that this was my revenge. Not revenge, but like, um, this was my way of being like, look, half a year won't stop me. I'm still like the most technically strong. And how? He's saying, it's like an hour and 10. And now she's off. We're a bit exhausted. <laughs> That's her husband. She's going to take some pictures. And now she's saying, making her do talisman fuetes. And we're just like, poor thing. <laughs> we just finished the whole exam. And the teacher's standing in front. And Nastya's just come in, she's gonna try. Oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's leave it there. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Comment down below which exercises you kind of most were interested in and what you most admired. I think, yeah, the exercises are super interesting and it really takes me back. And um, yeah, any questions you've got about this, let me know whether you want me to talk more in detail about certain aspects. Um, you know, we could like take, like I say, like look at the Vaganova walkthroughs we've done and you can choose an exercise and say, oh, I really want you to go into real detail of that exercise and we can totally do that. So yeah. Keep following, keep subscribing, um, leave your comments, share, because, you know, the more people see this, the more we can share the wonderful world of Vaganova and um, build this channel. So thank you so much, and I'll see you around.